The Buckeyes survive a scare. Yo, what's up, world? Welcome back to the channel, APW Sports and in. And I am so glad I am able to do an Ohio State reaction after the game being canceled last week. It's all good. Ohio State survives a huge scare from number nine ranked Indiana, 42-35 at home in the shoe. But before I get into anything that's related to this game, I just want to make sure that you guys are staying absolutely safe. I know it's still a ton going on out here, and I just want to make sure that you guys are staying safe. And also, about 60 to 70 percent of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So if you fit into that category, go ahead right now and click that subscribe button. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Click it. I'll wait. Enough with all that. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Okay, the first thing is first. I will give Indiana 100% credit. They came out prepared. They came out ready in this ball game. He, uh, Michael Penix Jr. and Fry Fogle, they look like legit threats. Legit threats. Fry Fogle had an absolute ball game against Sean Wade in the secondary. And Penix Jr. is, he, he's moving himself up there in the ranks. He's been looking awfully good all season long. And against this Ohio State Buckeyes team, he proved that he absolutely belongs. Now, Ohio State, let's just face it, this game was a struggle. This game was an absolute struggle. I know we put up 42 points, but I'll just say this, this is Justin Fields' absolute worst game he's played as a Buckeye. This is his worst game he's played as a Buckeye. Three interceptions is so unheard of. He wasn't able to push the ball down the field like he wanted to. Indiana's defense, I'll give them credit as well. They got the blitz package that Ohio State's offensive line necessarily wasn't protecting very well and they weren't ready for. So this was a legit threat. Indiana has been playing well all season coming into this game. They are a proven legit threat. I know we won the game, but it is a lot that we need to correct as a Buckeye team. It is a lot that this Buckeye team needs to correct. The running game for the Buckeyes is pretty well with Master T and Trey Sermon and also Justin Fields using his legs. But I just feel the passing game did not live up to our expectations of it in this ball game. But like I said, I will give the Indiana pass rush and the Indiana secondary credit for really being prepared and stopping this Ohio State offense. It really did struggle for majority of this game. It's had drives where they ran the ball very well. It's had drives, especially that opening drive where they just look like, okay, this game is going to be out of hand already early. But I'll give Indiana credit. They stayed through it. They stayed composed, and they gave Ohio State an absolute tough test, which I think that proves their ranking that they were number nine in the country. That absolutely proves to be true, as that Indiana team just played very, very good football. And Ohio State secondary, seven banks, even though Sean Wade had that pick six, he did not play that well of a game, and I really feel that this Indiana team really threw the ball all over this Ohio State defense. I give Ohio State's defense credit. They really limited the running game of Indiana, but Indiana's running game has not been well coming into this game. And it, the Ohio State defense really, really played the run well, but it's just, they have to absolutely sure up the passing defense. 
Tough Boylan, I really like his game. I really, really like Pete Warner and Browning at the linebacker positions. And up front, we didn't get the pass rush like we needed to. Albeit, Penix Jr. has a really quick release, and it proved big. When he was under pressure, he was able to get the ball off quick and complete passes. But I just feel that this Ohio State defense, especially the secondary, was very, very exposed in this ball game. Indiana had the weapons and it had the quarterback that was on a hot streak to really match up with this Ohio State defense. I really feel that this Ohio State secondary, it was the weakest point I've been pointing out from this season coming into this game. And it proved today to be an absolute weak point of a strong team. This Ohio State team is very, very strong. I just feel that this secondary is suspect. It needs work. It really, really needs work. It has the talent to be better than what they've played. They just have not lived up to the talent. Sean Wade was a projected first-round talent going into the season. And his play so far, to be honest, has not been very good. He did have the pick six, like I mentioned earlier, but at the same point, he's been getting burnt. He's been getting outplayed by a lot of good wide receivers. He has been getting outplayed. Now, that makes me wonder, is he really an outside corner or is he a sl really a traditional natural slot corner? Is he a natural slot corner? Moving him to the outside, that that has proven a big difference in his game. And he played a lot better in the slot last season when he had guys like Okuda and he had Damon Arnett on the outside. Is it that he's a slot corner? It's really starting to look like it because he's had some of his better plays inside at the slot. Albeit the pick six came outside, but he, I think he was in the slot then too. He just had a really good read on Penix Jr.'s eyes and was able to pick that ball off and take it for the house. So, this Ohio State team, it has to correct some things. We're 4-0. We're great at where we at as far as the standings go and the rankings go because at the end of the day, all you need to be is in the top four to really have a chance at a natty. And that's that's the most important thing. For me, being a Buckeye fan, that is the most important thing for me is a natty. I don't care about the Heisman Trophy and Justin Fields, even though that would be nice. I don't care about any individual awards. I want the natty. As a fan, I can prove, I could just tell you guys that I want the natty. This team has national champion expectations. Albeit, why I'm wearing a national championship hat from when we won in 2014. I'm trying to speak this into existence. That's what I want. I don't care about individual awards. I don't care about the stats. I don't care about the numbers. All I care about is how this team looks and W's. We got the W today, but was it pretty? No. But at the end of the day, I would rather them win these type of games than lose them. So I'm glad we got the win, but we need to improve on being more consistent on offense. Justin Fields has to play better than what he did today because, like I said earlier, this is the worst game that Justin Fields has had as an Ohio State Buckeye. This is the worst game he's played as a Buckeye. With three picks and only two touchdowns, Three total because he had that one on the ground. But this is his worst game as a Buckeye. I'll just be straightforward and honest. This is his worst game as a Buckeye. Now, am I saying he's bad? God, no. It's just, oh, I'll give Indiana's defense credit. They were able to get pressure on him. They were able to bring the blitz that Ohio State's offensive line wasn't necessarily picking up very well. And the corners from the Indiana team played absolutely good football. So, was I expecting a blowout? Maybe. I'll be honest with you guys, maybe. Because I just felt like this Ohio State team was just so much better than the rest of the field. But, this is an improving Indiana team. This is an Indiana team that has proven themselves legit. Michael Penix Jr. really, really played legit football. And Fry Fogel, He's turning out to be one of the better receivers, at least in my opinion, in college football. Now, am I going to say he's better than Wilson and Olave? No, but 
The way he's been playing the last couple of weeks, he's been having monster games. And he had another monster game against the Ohio State secondary, which I feel coming to into this game was going to be the biggest hole, you want to say, in this Ohio State team is the secondary. So we've got our work cut out for us. We got Illinois and the Little Buck rivalry next week. I just want to... See how this secondary comes out after having a bad game like they had today. Secondary did not play necessarily well. Justin Fields had his worst game, like I said. The running game was absolutely key. And the offensive line has to do a big a better job. Just a little bit of a better job of protecting Fields and picking up the blitzes. So we got out of this game. We're 4-0. We're still on track to accomplish the goals that we had coming into the season which is first big 10 title next get to the playoff next national championship we're still on that track but we have to correct the things the mistakes in the offensive line and we have to correct the play in the secondary i am glad we got the win stress level <laughs> went down <laughs> stress level went from oh lord is this becoming the bears to calm we got the win but we need to correct some things, especially the secondary. Especially the secondary. But that is all I have for you guys today. Be sure to leave this video a like so we can help beat the YouTube algorithm and comment your thoughts down below on this contest. How do you feel? What did you guys see? I would love to see that. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I read my comment section and I would love you guys to join the conversation. And also if you're watching this and you've gotten to this point, and you have not subscribed, go ahead right now, click that subscribe button, and also click the notification bell so you would not miss a single video that I post. And if you got to this point, leave Ohio State Buckeyes in the comment section down below. That lets me know that you guys got to this point in the video. But that's all I've got. APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great next of the day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out! Wanna say thank you to my mama and my daddy For making love the night that you had me Wanna thank my friends, my sister and my brother